Hi there! And when you saw the thumbnail, you are starting to get the point now. Welcome to this part 4 of the streaming highlights of me building the Prusa Mark 3S Plus. If you would like to see the entirety of this stream, it is available on my YouTube channel under the playlist section. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe to not miss any new streams and videos. That's it for me, thanks for tuning in and enjoy the streaming highlights. Start recording. And let's go. So yesterday, we were like in the middle steps of building the extruder for the printer. So yeah, a big, big task. But we do make some amazing progress. There we go. Feeling way better than yesterday, that's for sure. I had an amazing eight hours night of sleep, which is rare nowadays. And it feels wonderful. Let's use this opportunity to check once more that the proper alignment of the filament with the Bountech bearing. Push the filament from the top to the Bountech, the PTFE tube. Okay. That should be enough. Okay, so how do they do this? They are, I think, like that. Yeah. This looks to be aligned perfectly to me. Yeah. So now we can tighten this one. There. Place the support on the extruder and ensure the inclined part is facing down. They do it this way, right? Yeah. Oof, this is going to be really tight. Terribly tight. Okay. Insert the nut all the way in. We are starting to get used to that because like it feels so wrong. Like you are, like you feel like you are going to break something. And fortunately, it didn't happen yet. Right as I say this, it looks like I fractured a piece of the filament. Well, I think I'm gonna be okay, but if I have issues later down the line, I will know where it comes from. Oh goodness. Yes, it's broken. <sighs> Let's hope it's not too, too important. It's a fan shroud. So that should be all right. Like it doesn't have to do anything with the filament or anything. So let's pray. Yes, it's definitely broken. Well, I know that I will be able to reprint that in the future. So that's nice. Because yeah, this is open source. So all the building parts and everything is online to be able to build it. So that's perfect. <laughs> did you create a YouTube channel to help people or to win money? Um, I did YouTube since I was, I think, 14 years old. Uh, I was doing speed drawings at the time. Then back in high school, I made a bunch of, I tried to do a bunch of funny videos that was for my friends and uh, always with this goal of maybe trying to impact a few people. Uh, but it, it was basically always here. The goal of this YouTube channel right now, though, I think the the thing that I'm trying to achieve right now is to have somewhere online that I can post basically showcases of what I can do skill-wise and that could interest a couple of people, uh, let's say like recruiters for potential internships, stuff like that. Uh, find associates, clients. I think it can help a lot, like some other people. Like for example, the two other videos that are on my YouTube channel right now, apart from the building of the, of the printer, are ways, they're not really tutorials, but they do inspire some people, I guess. But like we are working with a really small scale at the moment. Entertaining wise, entertainment wise, oh my God, I cannot speak today. Entertainment wise, this is perfect. For example, YouTube channel that I absolutely love, um, Alex Steele, um, all about uh, blacksmithing. I am not a blacksmith and I'm not following his videos as tutorials but I just love to watch him, as I think a lot of other people. So if I can create that, but with more technical, not technical, technological technologies, that would be perfect. So yeah, this is my answer to your question. Insert the sensor in the holder in the exact position. Exact position doesn't matter, we will adjust it later. Tighten the M310 screw. Create a loop with the cable, push the cable. Okay, let's first put it in. I am so scared to break something at this point when I just like leave it down. This is starting to be really heavy as well. I don't know how this is going to work on the actual printer. We'll see, let's just trust the process. For the moment, everything is going sort of great. I did break apart though, but that's all right. Uh, oh, we are going to, we are going to put it to the, on the printer. Okay, okay, fuck now, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Lower the X axis about a third from the top. It looks like a third to me. Can you please go in? My God, trying to put the zip ties now. Okay, first zip tie in, second zip tie. Whew. Before you continue to go through the x-axis, please release two of the M3 motor screw. Oh, can you, st can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. 
Oh, okay, we're making progress. We are. We really are. Next. Okay. Gently twist the sleeve to make it smaller and tighter around the cables. Bring the sleeve seam downwards, then slide the sleeve toward the extruder. I mean, it is as tight as I think I can get it. Not too, too tight. Yeah, that's two. And one last one. Okay, 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 okay. Now we tighten them all together. Doesn't need to be extremely tight, I reckon. Nice bouquet, just for you. Just for you. Hats off, this was the toughest chapter in the history of the original Prusa i3. I have 20% of the gun bears. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gunny bears. Whew. It was tough, I have to admit, it was tough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Okay, let's prepare the LCD parts. The famous, famous, famous Prusa LCD knob. Oh, right there. Press the LCD controller with the LCD support into the LCD cover. Oh, almost. There you go. Nice. This is starting to really take shape and I love it. Boom. It seems that we are almost done. Uh, if I look at the actual number of chapters that you have, there is nine chapters, we are at chapter seven. And this is amazing. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks everyone. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And apart from that, I guess I'll talk to you very soon on the internet. Goodbye everyone.